Hi everyone. If you're a newcomer, welcome. If you're a follower coming back, all the more welcome. I want to preface this video to let you know, no, I would never kill myself. Um, I love life too much. I enjoy what it is I've been doing in life. And uh, so, no, I would never commit suicide. Uh, here nor there, I've been away. Some of you have been writing to me through emails. I'm sorry, I just haven't had enough time to deal with emails as well because what's going on in my life is spring. Planting a garden, doing some light construction, and it's taking up what energy I have left as well as my time. I'm gonna get finished with all that. It's just, I'm, I'm out of gas. Um, I might be ageless, but my body, you and I that is, but our bodies keep getting older and older and older. So if you're over 45 or so, you, you completely understand. And if you're over 60, you really understand. <laughs> okay, here nor there. Um, I'm gonna keep my eyes open goodwill and look what I found. This is not just any old wheel. This seems to be some kind of carbon fiber wheel. Um, reason being, get this screw off of this magnet here, is that the magnet doesn't stick to this. But the spokes are metal because it sticks to it. See? But I can't get it to stick to this. Now, if it was aluminum, I think it would sound differently. So let me get this screw here and tap on this. I know it's going to be out of focus, but let me just tap on it. That doesn't sound like metal. Okay. So I've already oiled this, and boy, is it really working nicely now. But I can hear dirt in it. I can hear grunge. So I'll have to take this all apart and clean it. Um, so this gets, a, this gets away from metal wheels, aluminum, or steel. This is a non-magnetic wheel. Okay, what little bit of magnetics it's going to have. There's a little teeny weeny nuts that hold the spokes in place on the inside of this. Um, that's very negligible. Over here is interesting. This turns equally as nice. This is really sweet. It's turning the bicycles at the same time. But if you turn this backwards, it turns the pedals. Okay? And uh, my thinking is, is that uh, if, note the word if, I can get something running, I will be coming over to the station here, and I'm going to build the, my skaters, and I'm going to build an army of them, at least six, maybe eight. I believe six is all I need. And I'll show you over there how it's all done. And I'll be coming here in, in weeks ahead, hopefully not too long from now. But I'm, I'm busy. So I'm having trouble keeping up with emails and responding back to questions. And I truly apologize. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, there's only so many hours in the day. So I just thought this was an interesting the way I can tap into this. It's got a gear on it and it transfers that energy to over here. Okay. And if you do it the other way, then it doesn't move that. Just old fashioned bike technology. So anyway, I thought this was interesting news to share. Um, so I'm going to kick this out of here. And the interesting thing is that because, see, these stick. Let me show you, zoom in. Because this is metal, these magnets just stick onto the wheel. I don't have to fasten them. Whereas over here, I'm going to have to fasten this onto here because this is not going to stick. Okay, so that means... I'm going to have to have a bunch of these with a hole in the middle and screw it into the, the outer rim of the wheel and then put the other magnet on top of it. Similar configuration to what I have here. So, and I know some of you say, hey, uh, this is a very chaotic configuration with a square and a circle. Hey, let me just tell you this. For those of you who seem to be very anal about it, uh, I just want to let you know uh, back in 2000. 10 or 11, I had a YouTube channel that was not called Free Magnetic Energy. It just, I don't even remember what I called it back then. I think it was just my name. That's when you couldn't make videos more than 10 minutes long. And what happened was I made a simple prototype, didn't understand the importance of it. It actually ran. It ran slowly, but it actually ran. I never tested it much past 10 minutes or so because you can only post videos that are only 10 minutes long in length. So I never really tested it. Then I, I mean, really tested, like, let's see how long it would run, like an hour, two hours, five hours, 10 hours. 
I just figured after 10 minutes, if it was going to run 10, it would run 20 or 30. I just didn't really fathom how important it was, what I was discovering. So anyways, so I put it up on YouTube, on my channel, my channel immediately got taken down. Um, so I didn't think a whole lot of it, and I didn't even know my channel was taken down initially because I just put up the one video, and this thing I know, my channel and video was gone. So I started another channel known as uh, Free, Free Magnetic Energy, and that channel, after I put up uh, the same video, the same project twice, second time YouTube took down the channel, and of course I lost all the videos. All right, so now the channel that you see here now is Free Magnetic Energy number two. And uh, at this point in time, I really don't know if I care or not. Um, I'm trying to put my stuff up on Rumble, but I'm having weird problems putting stuff up on Rumble. Because when I put videos up on Rumble, a lot of times they don't show up. I don't know why. They just don't show up. So, anyway. Um, here are there. I just want to let you all know I'm, I'm still around. I, I, I haven't abandoned the channel. No, I would never kill myself. I love life too much. I look forward to every living every day as long as I can. Um, I'm not getting any older, but my body is. And you'll find that out sooner or later that we don't really age, but our bodies do. Okay. So I also have something here I want to share with you here. Um, this right here is, oh, this is a beauty. Oh my gosh. You won't believe. Um, I, I have not taken this out of the funds that are being sent to me. I figure equipment, this doesn't, it's not included. I'm just looking for funds for magnets. That's where all the real expense is. But uh, I don't know if I can get this open without using two hands. Try to get it open this way. No, I, let me just set the phone down. Okay. Now, this is a real beaut. This has a, a pinpoint. This is a gauze meter, uh, also known as a Tesla meter. Okay. And this is going to allow me for pinpoint accuracy on anywhere of the magnets. So I can start measuring this stuff so I can get things even so we don't have some magnets stronger, some magnets weaker. Uh, you remember one time I had a wheel going around, it'd go around and around. I mean, it was going. Every time it got this one place, this one magnet, even though there was no gap, it suddenly it just suddenly started to slow down. And then we continue on and get to that same spot. And then it just kind of like suddenly just stop at that magnet there. So I had no way of measuring and figuring out what was going on. I had to guess. Well, I've taken the guesswork out of it now. So we now have this here. Um, and of course, here's the pinpoint device. And... Uh, so I'm looking forward to using this so we can really figure out what's going on. Okay, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, I showed you what brand this is. Um, I did my research, and this seemed to be the best deal. There was something like over 3,200 feedback, and it was almost a five-star review across the board. So that's what I got. I think I paid 80 bucks for it. I didn't take it out of the funds uh, for the uh, GoFundMe uh, project. I'm trying to raise funds of $2,500. I'll put a GoFundMe link in the video description. Um, some of you all are sending it directly through to PayPal rather than GoFundMe because, you know, GoFundMe takes a little chunk of change out, and that really starts to add up after a while. All right, that's it. Um, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully here I will have more time spent, and I will go over there and we'll put together my stators, and then we'll use this bad boy way over here. It's a beautiful wheel right there. English racing bike wheel. I gotta get an axle for it and I will show you some real magic because what's gonna happen is that when I build, sit here and build the stators here, I'm gonna be using it on that wheel there. Um, and hopefully I'll get the exact same results I did 11 years ago. I'm sorry, I just had so many diversions in life that took me away from this project. They just did one thing after another. Marriage, losing my house, losing my wealth. Just being totally unhappy, uh, a mild form of depression, whatever the case may be, a lot of huge curveballs were thrown my way. That's not an excuse. That's just the facts of life. And I like to think facts of life are not excuses. Excuses are things that we lean on that really don't have any validity to why we did or didn't do something, or why something did or didn't happen. Anyway, all right, that's it. Um, anything else I can think of? Uh, 
That one's very cost. I'm going to have to buy a few of these with the holes in the middle. I'll screw these up here to the wheel. And that's how we'll get these on here. All right, let me take this guy apart and see what we're getting ourselves into here. Other than that, thank you for your time. I'm sorry the video ran so long. Take care.